In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a secure folder on the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. So first, open the settings app and then scroll and select security and privacy. From here, look for the option more security settings and tap on it. Then select secure folder. Next, tap on continue and give the necessary permissions by tapping on continue. Wait for your secure folder to be created. It may take a while, so just wait patiently. And then you'll need to create a lock type for your secure folder. So you have a pin, password, or pattern option, as well as the choice of adding a biometric, such as your fingerprint. So if you have a fingerprint registered, just tap on this toggle to enable it. Then ensure that you also put a lock type in case you can't use your fingerprint. So say, for example, you choose pattern, enter in the current formation, tap on continue, and enter it again to confirm. Then you can turn on reset with your Samsung account. So you can choose to turn it on now, or you can come back and do that later. So now tap on next, and you'll be brought to your secure folder. So to lock and exit your secure folder, tap on the three dots, then select lock and exit, and you'll be exited out of the secure folder. To find it, just go to the apps screen or the home screen, and you should see it there. So tap on it, enter in your lock type, and you should see everything that is currently on your secure folder. To add more apps, tap on this plus icon here, then select apps from this list that you're given. Once you've selected the apps, tap on add, and you should see them being added. To add files, tap on the three dots, select add files, and choose between images, videos, audio, documents, or a full folder from the My Files app. So it's up to you to decide which option works for you. And then select the files that you wish to use. Once you've selected them, tap on done, and then choose a transfer method copy or remove. Now, to find those specific files, open the My Files app, and then choose one category. So if you moved images, select images. If you moved audio, select audio, like that. And you should see them listed there. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.